responsibility for the perpetrator. Yes, ma'am, all the way in the back. Yes, ma'am. Hi. So about 800 feet away from the United Center, where President Biden spoke last night, we saw protesters successfully breach the perimeter. And it's just a month ago that an assassin tried to kill President Trump. Right. Has there been beefed up secret service around the Trump campaign? And given, you know, there's this, old, there's this other report that an agent left duty to breastfeed her infant who shouldn't have been brought to the Trump rally, has there been ongoing concerns about the Trump campaign's personal security? Well, look, I, I will, what I'll do is I'll defer most of that to the Trump campaign. What I'll tell you is what I know, that, uh, yes, the security perimeter has been beefed up around the president. Um, it, it, listen, what happened in Pennsylvania, I try not to speculate on it because this is more than just presidential politics. This is one of the core pillars of our nation and the future of our republic. All presidents, regardless if you agree with them or not, they deserve to be protected. All people under Secret Service care, they deserve to be protected. That, that care has to hand, be handled appropriately. Um, so I know around President Trump that there have been additional measures that have been put into place. I'm going to stop there. I'm not going to get into any more detail. With respect to the great, that the, the gate that was taken down around the DNC, that's a serious concern. And I would say that's partly a, a security concern of how they're laying out the, the bubble over there around the United Center. It's also a bigger concern about the radical movement happening within the Democrat Party right now that has such a disdain for Israel and for the Jewish people, that they would that they would tear down security barriers around the Democrat nominees convention. That's a major issue for the Democrat Party to answer. Yes, sir. Thank you, Congressman.